we now come to another type of model specification error that can happen here of course uh, the error is not because your model is not correctly specified it is because there is an error of measurement that is happening when you are taking or collecting the data points we will look at it in two sections in the first section when there is an error of measurement in the dependent variable y so this is the model that we are taking as an example yi star is a function of alpha plus beta xi plus ui ui is your stochastic disturbance term your random error term xi is current income and yi star represents permanent consumption expenditure okay now we know that permanent consumption expenditure uh, this model is from milton friedman's permanent con uh, income hypothesis okay it is loosely based on that so uh, this yi star that is permanent consumption expenditure is not directly measurable so instead of using that what we can do is we have an observa observable expenditure variable yi which can be understood as yi star plus an error term okay so epsilon i measures the errors in the measurement of yi star right so again since yi star is not directly measurable what we actually do manage to get is the observable expenditure right so this observable exp observable expenditure yi is described as permanent consumption expenditure yi star plus an error term a white noise error term uh, now if you are running this second model your yi is in effect as you can see instead of yi star i have put in equation 1 that is alpha plus beta xi plus ui so my yi is alpha plus beta xi plus an error term vi this error term vi is a composite error term which contains the population disturbance terms ui as well as the measurement error term epsilon i right so since it's a combination of both the type of errors it is called a composite error term so since my original model yi star is not observable and we are using yi as a substitute where yi can be thought of as yi star plus an error term the model that we end up running will be yi is equal to alpha plus beta xi plus a composite error term vi this is the model that we end up running in effect because there is a measurement error and yi star is not directly measurable now if we make certain assumptions the first one that uh our population error term ui uh, satisfies all the clrm assumptions another assumption that we make is that epsilon i that is our measurement error is uncorrelated to xi values as well as uncorrelated to ui values if these assumptions are satisfied then we can prove that the ols estimators whether you are running equation 1 or equation 2 are unbiased however the variances and the standard deviations for the coefficient beta hat will be different for both the models had we been able to successfully run the first model now remember the first model i mean had we successfully run this model y i star is equal to alpha plus beta xi plus ui had we been successfully able to run this particular model the variance of beta hat would have been as it has been given here but 
since there are measurement errors and via star is not directly observable what we have ended up doing is running y i equals to alpha plus beta x i plus v i this is the model that we have ended up estimating using the ols technique in effect okay so the variance terms will be sigma v square divided by summation x i square and sigma v square can be written as sigma u square plus sigma epsilon square uh, there is no third no other term on the numerator because we have assumed that uh, the error of measurement and the ui are uncorrelated okay so as you can see even though we still have unbiased estimates of the parameters and unbiased estimators of the variances as well these estimated variances are now larger than it would have been if there were no error of measurement so that is something that we have lost the minimum variance the least variance property or the variance that we now have of the model that has been run because of the measurement error will not have as low a variance as the original models now let's have a look at the other type of error in measurement which is when there is an error in measurement of the explanatory variable that is x so the example we are taking is yi is your current consumption expenditure and we are saying that it is a function of alpha plus beta xi star where xi star is the permanent income plus ui so uh, this is again based again like i said it's based on our permanent income hypothesis where we are saying that your current consumption expenditure is a function of the permanent income that a person has right but we know that the permanent income is not directly observable okay so we can expect there to be measurement errors when it comes to measuring xi star what we observe is xi which is xi star plus wi is the error of measurement okay so in effect when we run this equation 3 what we do getting is alpha plus yi is a function of alpha plus beta times instead of xi star i have substituted it with xi minus wi plus my population error term so here if i put the error terms together i get arrive at this equation that is alpha plus beta xi plus ui minus beta times wi remember ui is my population error term wi is my error of measurement and uh, this is been combined into the error term zi okay now as you can see my error term is not a simple combination of ui and wi but it is ui minus beta wi where beta is the same coefficient the slope coefficient of variable xi so what this means is even if we assume that y wi is a random error term white noise error term which has zero mean and which is uh, serially independent and uncorrelated with ui even then my composite error term zi is now related to correlated to my explanatory variable xi okay uh, if you look at the covariance between zi and xi you will see that it comes up to minus beta times sigma w whole square okay that is sigma w whole square is the variance of the measurement error term so again 
one of our important assumptions that the error term and the explanatory variables are uncorrelated that assumption is now violated and we know that the problems of violation of the assumption is that they will have biased ols estimators and they are also inconsistent that is even if the sample size increases indefinitely this bias does not move away the bias does not go away right so as you can see when you have an error of measurement present in the explanatory variable it is even more dangerous than an error of measurement in the dependent y variable okay uh, so what are the possible solutions uh, one extreme solution is that you assume away the problem or you ignore the problem and run the usual ols estimator uh, it might not really work in every case it might not be the most smart thing to do but another possible remedy that has been suggested is to use an instrumental or proxy variable a proxy variable is a variable that can be used as a substitute for the original explanatory variables so the condition is that uh, this instrumental or proxy variable should be highly correlated with the original x variables but uncorrelated with the error terms both the error terms the population error term as well as the error term of measurement that is wi as well as ui if it is possible to find such proxy variables then you can find a consistent estimate of beta so even when the at least when the sample size is large enough you will get unbiased estimates of beta okay um, however as has been pointed out by many practical uh, econometricians they say that finding such a instrumental variable or a proxy variable is not so easy it is much more tougher than it looks okay so uh, often even though we know that there are er errors of measurement possible we do tend to ignore them and uh, run the standard ols method ols estimation technique right so um this was a brief discussion of the different types of errors uh, some more errors are there Uh, especially when you're talking about the form in which your error term is incorporated into the model uh, but i am not going into those details because uh, they have not been explicitly mentioned in your syllabus for the time being i'm sticking to exactly what has been mentioned and not covering extra uh, you can read through the notes which are given in the book and you can come to me and ask me if you have any doubts regarding the additional extra material okay uh, thank you